How's everyone doing guys? It's your boy Peekum Fun Fan 97 and I have another Photoshop CS6 tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial I'll be going over how to apply a texture over an image and it is very simple to do. First, select your image that you're going to be using to apply the texture to, okay? Uh, or add the texture to, sorry my bad. And then go to the texture and you want to select it so press Command A and Command C. This is for Mac. So command A, command C, and this will pretty much select everything in the canvas and copy it. If you're on Windows, you'd press control A and control C, okay? So go back to the image, let me make it a little bit bigger, and we're going to paste it by pressing command V. I use a lot of shortcuts in my Photoshop tutorials because I kind of like going fast. I don't, have, I don't like going to edit and then paste, it just takes too much time. So if you're on a Mac, or if you're on a Windows computer, you use Control V to paste it. So now um, the image is a little too small, so we're gonna go ahead and drag it to the uh, top left, and we're gonna go ahead and resize it. So press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows, and we're gonna go ahead and resize it. Hold down Shift first, and then click on any of these edges. But since we're gonna be dragging it um, to cover this area, we're gonna select the bottom right. So just make it. I like to make it a little bit bigger over the image, so it's not too. Um, so the texture isn't to um, so all the texture it won't be together so it doesn't look kind of fake um, I don't know how to explain it but it looks much better so make sure that the texture is on top of the image so it should look like this you can unlock it which I'm going to do I'm going to double click that and click OK so that way it becomes an unlocked layer so you can customize it without be without it being locked you could have just done um, if you click on the if you double click on the uh, lock that will do the same thing, uh, or you can make a copy by uh, clicking and dragging to this one right here, which creates a new layer, and you can delete the background and just still have a copy of the background. So um, select the texture should be layer one. Go ahead where it says normal and select uh, soft light. Now depending uh, what picture you're going to be using, the effects do change what kind of picture you have so some might work and some won't so like overlay this one will look pretty decent on this image with uh, which is a ford i think it's a 1980 or something like that or 70 uh, ford but uh you can do hard light but it's just going to be too strong in the image so i usually keep it at uh overlay uh, again you can this differs depending on what image if it's too strong, where it says opacity, drag it to the left by clicking on the uh, the word itself, opacity, or clicking here and dragging it. Um, I like to keep it around 60 to 70 percent. Well, 60 to 80 uh, percent. Now, to have the best texture for this image, um, keeping it at around 75 to 80 percent would be great on this picture. So again, depending what picture you have, this will differ. But you can see that it looks very nice with this texture. So let me go ahead and go back. So this is the before and after. So before, after. So that is a quite difference, and it applies a better texture to the image. So it gives you a better, kind of like a more interesting look to the image. So if this helped you in any way, please leave a like in the description, or in the ratings below. Comment if you have any you know, comments or any questions, actually not comments, any questions regarding this video. Um, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.